Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad, and today I'm going to be doing the third Seven Brothers series. Uh, this is Humble Pie. It is a pear and blackberry wheat beer, and this was made by Dan, one of the Seven Brothers. Um, if you've not seen so far, I have uploaded the well, it's a couple months ago. I uploaded the first one, which was peanut butter and Jaffa cake stout which I thought was incredibly nice. Um, and apparently, I didn't upload the second video and I must have deleted it because it's not on my channel and that's really, really wound me up. So I'm gonna have to get my hands on that again and do another review on it again. Um, but from what I remember, it was a really nice beer. I've been enjoying the Seven Series so far by Seven Brothers. Um, the all 7%, it's to celebrate their seventh birthday. Um, which is quite cool. Uh, they're releasing one a month. Um, like I say, this is the third one. I did miss it. Um, so I've had to get my hands on it. Playing catch up. I've got the fourth one in my fridge down there. Um, so I'll get these up as soon as possible. And then I'll be all caught up after I get the Raspberry Ripple one. Because that one was gorgeous. So, um, there's no guff on it. It literally is just per blackberry wheat beer which i'm gonna be intrigued about um and then it just says the same stuff. oh no there it is there's the guff the courageous wheat beer packs a punch with stacks of humble ripe blackberry and succulent pear complemented with forage nettle uh to fortify the style so there's nettle in this nice um i do like the they've been doing the um seven differently for each one um it's just little details. I like them. So, let's crack it open, shall we? And see what we've got. This is another black top can. Um, and I don't know why. They just look nicer. I just like them. They look way better than standard silver. Oh, I can smell it already. Okay, so we've got ourselves a really nice copper colour beer. Um, a sort of ivory coloured head. It looks quite nice. It looks like a good beer, especially for today because it's 20 odd degrees and it's just, it's just really warm and I just need something cold. So, let's get a smell, shall we, and see what we get. Tell you what, it smells so far like um, a Vault City Sour for some reason. Like it's got that sort of tartiness to it. There's a bit of lactose, sort of like a, a milky, yogurty smell to it as well. A little bit of pear. I'm not really getting much in the way of blackberry though, or nettle. Let's get a uh, mouthful for body and carb. Carbonation's a light medium. Body's really light. It's like uh, almost drinking a fizzy drink. So, ooh, that's really dry. It's really dry. That's quite dry though, already. Um, this could be a good taste, shall we? Cheers. So I mentioned it smelt like a sour. It smelt like a Vault City sour. It's really not, don't worry. It's it's nowhere near sour. Um, it's got a slight tartiness, but it's not sour. Um, it starts off pear shaped, flavoured. I hope. Um, it starts off pear flavoured. Almost like a pear yogurt flavour. Which is really weird, but I'm kind of into it. The blackberries I'm not getting. I'm a little let down, but. 
top it up. Just uh, hope the flavours elsewhere. It's only half a pint can, um, half a pint glass, and this is about two thirds. So. It's mostly pear. Um, it's got this. It's got a pear yogurty taste to it. There is a sort of crust taste, like like when you get an apple pie. The pastry taste. That's it. That's one. It's it's got a pastry taste. That probably is the wheat in the wheat beer. Um, but it's almost like eating a yogurt and then eating a pie. It's got the like yogurty, lactosey taste, and then it moves into a sort of, pardon me, not apple pie because it's not apples, uh, but a pear pie, um, which is really interesting. I do like pears, like as a fruit, because I'm weird, because um, apparently no one likes pears, but it's it's sort of a blend between. A pear yogurt, and then it moves into a, a sort of pear pie, if you get me. There's no blue, uh, blackberries though, whatsoever. Oh, wow. I don't know if you've seen that. Where's that gone? Is that dissolved? There was just a huge, that, that big, just a bit chunk fell in, but now it must have dissolved. Oh well. I'm just hoping to get this black break. It's not there, for me at least. I just can't taste it, which is a little bit of a letdown, but I'm still very happy with this. It's sort of, it's all over the place, and like I said, really dry, a really dry finish. It just makes me want to go for more, but I really, not don't want to, but I want to take my time and just enjoy it. Cold, it's cold beer, hot day, one of them. Um, so, I'm going to finish it there. Seven Brothers, the third Seven series. Like I said, I will get the second one and I will upload it at some point, I promise. Um, Humble Pie. Um, blackberry. Oh, it's pear and blackberry, so pear is meant to be the main flavour. Um, yeah, pear and blackberry, wheat beer. Out of 10, I'm going to give it an 8. It's nice. I would have gave that, if I could get the blackberry taste, I would have gave that a 9 or 10. It's just because I can't get it. But I still really like this. It's so good. So, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like it, if you don't. If you haven't had it, I got it off the Seven Brothers website, which I'll leave down below in the links and all that usual stuff. It's worth a buy, especially if you like a wheat beer or if you just like crazy beers. It's worth it. Um, I can't remember how much it was. It's probably like three pounds or something. Because they don't really charge that much. Which is really nice. So, yeah. All the appropriate stuff will be down below. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so. Because the show must go on, etc, etc. So on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.